Well, Wisconsin State Insurance Commission is taking control of subprime mortgage-related contracts from AMBAC. Joining us now is Sean Dilweg, Wisconsin State Insurance Commissioner. Mr. Commissioner, good to see you again. Welcome back to Bloomberg News. Thanks for having me back. Sir, this is a fairly complicated issue. What's going on? What's at stake here? What you have is a, uh, the, as we know, the bond insurers have been troubled for the last two years. And you have a lot of the exposures uh, on the residential mortgage-backed securities are going out the door right now. As those securities are defaulting, the insurers are having to pay 100 cents on the dollar. My concern is with the other policyholders, like the Muni Book, like the commercial asset-backed securities, that they have coverage. So this is a way to take a time out and look at uh, the RMBS book and really uh, talk to the counterparties and evaluate what money should go out the door. I, I'm, I'm curious who assumes the risk now. I mean, are you lifting these RMBSs off AMBAC's book and putting them on the state's book? It is a uh, rehabilitation order. Um, this is not only my order, but it's also approved by a state court in Wisconsin, which has the regulatory oversight for AMBAC. So unlike MBIA, this goes beyond just a commissioner's order. It, it actually has the court of law with it. But I, I guess what I'm asking is who then assumes the, the liabilities if if eventually oh, there are in in a rehabilitation order it's, it's truly a timeout to reorganize and have a more or orderly runoff of uh, these issues mr. commissioner do you believe AMBAC can meet the rest of its obligations if it hands over surplus notes uh, I do I've looked at um, the negotiations that are ongoing at this time with on the larger city of ABS I think those are positive discussions and uh, would have to also be approved by us and in court. So all of these moving pieces we have been uh, watching and uh, I think um, you know, the important thing is this will bring stability to the existing policyholders in the Muni book and the commercial ABS book. So at this point was, was this just a simple case of again what we've been hearing for the past year and a half, two years, engaging in risky behavior, riskier assets? As we know, the bond insurers moved off of their stable municipal books into these uh, financial instruments what? that uh, we can go, we can talk about rating agencies, you know, the, the need to uh, earn more profit, um, you know, to keep their AAA. At this point, it's not a question of AAA coverage, it's simply a question of coverage. Um, in this case, if um, if we are seeing sort of the split of the muni bond holders and the RMBS holders, doesn't that mean that the muni bond holders are going to get a better deal uh, and a better return because of, of this this process? The, the muni bond holders and the commercial ABS holders are looking for continued coverage. The last thing they would want to see is a regulatory action that would then throw them out into the credit markets in this environment. And this keeps that continued coverage and brings some stability. Does the creation of the segregated account constitute a default in your view? Because Ambex parents apparently no, doesn't uh, think so. And that's why we took this approach. Mm -hmm. It is a unique state regulatory tool it is not as blunt as a liquidation or a bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. This is a unique, more precise surgical tool that I think uh, protects the policyholders. Sean Dilweg, Wisconsin State Insurance Commissioner, joining us on set. Mr. Commissioner, always good to see you. Thanks Great. for coming in. Great, good to in. see you again. Thank you, sir.